Oh, we should be back on the branch. Should while I do right? this. Yeah, yeah, I just I just Afterwards. unlocked a thing. No, 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 the, the last like 10 seconds. Oh, okay. So the people can see that I unlocked a thing. Oh. I found, we found our way but into I, the basement. But, but John, welcome back on the branch. I was laying down. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, where's that steam boss? Yeah, apparently you have to fight this boss again to get what's in here. What the? Uh, oh, it's a power cell. Cool, I got a power cell. I think I killed him. You, you saw me shoot him once on as you were watching. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so therefore, it didn't happen. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, he just shot me. Where is he? There he is. Steam Lord, I think, is what he's called. Steam Power Giraffe. Oh, come on. Oh, I bet he's invisible. Yeah. <laughs> Shit on bitch. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. You're not really a boss now, are you? <laughs> just like a mini boss. I think it was like a mini boss in the first place. Sub boss? <laughs> Mid boss? Did, did you ever play those games? I don't think I've ever actually completed this guy. Up. Okay. The first one is very good. And it goes downhill from there. Well, I don't know. I never played three. Two was like so mediocre that I didn't even finish it. And I am a person that loves to finish RPGs. The only RPGs I've started and not finished were Disgaea 2 and Final Fantasy 4, which you know is Final Fantasy 2 because you're dumb. Well, America. Yeah, America. Because we can't Well, it's not America's fault. It's Japan's fault for saying Americans won't like these complex, difficult game RPGs. No American has ever played a, a complex RPG before. Or difficult one. Meanwhile, like, America invented the fucking RPG. I mean, did they? Yes. Well, I mean, maybe, like, Europe did. But, like, as far as, like, pen and paper and the video game RPGs, yes, American ones came way before Japanese ones. Meanwhile, in loading the fucking game zone. Yeah. Oh, Where Ferris. are we? Uh, we're going uh, across Skytown, and we're gonna get a couple more power-ups. Did you see how how many pickups we have left? 90. Well, I gotta look at the map so you'll 92. see. Yeah, we got 92. Eight more. Is yeah. There? Uh, we want to. No, there's nothing that way, but we want to go this way. We want to go to this like three-way. So we oh, gotta go yeah. straight across through the door. That's right. We're we're, we're gonna go attend our first three-way. I hope you're all dressed up. So fancy. Door. Door. We're not in danger of dying here. I'm just getting bored, so I'm going to kill these guys. Yes, this is the one we want. This is the direction we're headed. Yay. Yay. What's over here now? I'm glad those cannons are accurate. Yeah. It's <laughs> just a little off alignment, and we'd be kind of hosed, huh? Yeah, just like one little pixel out of place. Okay. Do we want to just take the tram? Let's take the tram. I mean, tram seems faster, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's on the other side, but I don't feel like looking through the map to find out. So we're going to go that way. Ow, that guy exploded all over us. Oh, my. Without our consent. It's oh, oh. Veritable, veritable Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Topical. Uh, yeah. That's we're so only, funny. That's only been out of the news for like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was in the news when we were coming back from Reno. And that was at the beginning of October. Which is funny because like, I, I already knew, like that was in the, like everybody knew Harvey Weinstein was a piece of shit, right? Like you already knew that already? Yeah. It's like Louis CK now. It's like, yeah, we've known for years that Louis CK is a piece of shit that sexually harasses women. Like, this is not news. It's, it's sort of like the, what was the name of the, the comedian that had the bit about Google uh, but before you know the big public, what it, what to do over um, the fact that uh, the fact that Jello Pudding guy um, Bill Cosby was a serial rapist. Before the big what to do about it, there was a comedian that had a bit on. It's more well known that you know like the Bill Bill Cosby's raping women is more famous than I am. Like Google Bill Cosby rapist, and that will show up before. You know, I will when you Google me. And it's just like one of those things we just don't talk about it. 
Yeah. It's kind of weird. It's more than kind of weird. And like nothing gets done until it becomes a public issue. Yeah, that's that, that's the weirdest thing to me. Like we don't solve these things until until as a society we decide to solve them. That seems like after it's been a problem for a while. It, it seems it it feels like maybe we can like solve these issues like without it becoming super public. Like I mean it's fine for it to be super public, but may, maybe like. Maybe when the crime happens is the time to solve it, or like when the crime is discovered. Later. Maybe when the yeah, maybe when the crime is is discovered, is when we do it instead of. Uh, God damn it, Samus! Get it together. Instead of 10, 20 years later. Yeah, and in, instead of when it becomes a public outrage, like 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 let's take care of these big problems before they're a public outrage. We don't need a public outrage to you know put a, put a rapist behind bars. Come on. I mean, and it feels like they're just like doing all this crap. Like, fuck, I'm saying like, uh, shit. She's becoming a valley girl. Uh, no. I'm I'm just getting tired of fucking roller coaster news. Is basically, the best way that I could put it. It's just like, what the fuck is the the crazy bullshit thing that happened today? Oh. Well, I think that's just an issue of, like, traditional news, news media is dying and trying to maintain our attention. Yeah, and it's really starting to get annoying. Also, remember, we, we have, like, politicians in power, and I'm not just talking about our president, who's the constant punching bag, because what president isn't? And uh, I might agree with you that this one, you know, deserves, to be, on which side deserves to be a punching bag, especially... It just depends on which side of the political spectrum, whether you agree with them or not, that they're punching bag. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, I uh, apparently we didn't need to come this way. Yeah, we've no, we've maybe, already picked up everything here. Let's go to the observatory, though. Map. Let's go to the observatory and see if there's anything new to pick up, okay? Yeah, that, that'll be good. That's a good thing to do in this episode. <laughs> We're going to visit the observatory la one last time. We're going to observe uh, everything. Anyway. So, yeah, politicians have just become extremely adept at... This is the door I just came in, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, good. Uh, at manipulating the media and, like, finding a way of distract... One, distracting them, and two, being in the news when they want to and saying the right things and just... just they're very savvy and the media is very dumb and slow, and that's kind of why it's dying. It just... It cannot keep up. That's why I like my one news site that I go to. Yeah, go 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 ahead and I, I, I mean can't, I can't remember the exact URL and I may put it up on the screen. But yes, hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. It's literally what the fuck just happened today. Dot com. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. No, I want to go back up that elevator. You know, a small one. No. No, I want to go back up. Okay. It's just a small like one paragraph summary for each main news article that happened like. Punching bag A did this. Punching bag B said this, and we're fucking dumb about it. Oh, does it try to be objective, not just neutral? Yeah. It tries to say this is what these guys say, and this is what actually happened. Yeah. It goes that extra step and Th doesn't. Th this is what the polling numbers for this are. Okay. And it's like you know. So when someone says some people are saying, it'll be like, and this is what it actually, what people actually think. Yeah. Okay. It it's been very fucking useful. It's been in inception since the beginning of the year so in inception what do you mean oh it, it's it, new yeah it, it's only been around the site has only been around for less than a year oh okay well i think it was just like some guy just did it sort of as like a hobby because like a let's poke fun at pumpkin bags and, but you know that's actually turned out into a nice fairly how do we get to this goddamn thing. observatory i had this problem last time too is that a way uh, you can't, unfortunately. Keep going. Okay, cool. I'm going the right direction. Fall down. Don't break the glass. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I broke the glass. I'm sorry, glass. Damn. Oh, let's get quantum out here. <laughs> more than seven years. That's, bad luck for. That's a fun fact. In my in my trade, mm -hmm. it's funny how like everyone uses the exact same vendors no matter who you are. It's not like like company A uses this set of vendors and company B uses this set of vendors. Like no, just. Everyone uses Elliot's when they're drain when they can't clear a drain. Everyone calls quantum glass when a piece of glass breaks. Um, it's just just absolutely universal. Well, so I mean, if they're good, 
Yeah, then they're and just... Or have a monopoly. Yeah, it feels like they just have a monopoly. <laughs> It might just be a case they're like so maybe. good they have a monopoly, or there isn't a big enough market to support extra. Both. I mean, Oops. maybe ask your uh, boss. If I got a curiosity, okay. Are there other know. companies? Did we try them? Did they suck? Do we stay with them because they're good? Are their rates okay? Are we contractually obligated to stick with these people? I'm just curious. I'm just asking questions. Well, Why most of them, it's like you have an account. <laughs> Am I talking too much? <laughs> uh. Have we not done Talon 4? Talon B. Yes, Talon B. <gasps> hey, we can do a thing. We did a thing. I'm so glad we came back here. <sighs> it's, <a ball. laughs> it's a rave. Okay, how do we get up onto that platform? You jump up. You yes, we down. do. You get down with the gift. Man, this is the gift. Way around, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> It's glowing and everything. It's like, you really want to check this out. What does this do for us? <gasps> oh, come on. Be something really cool. The stars have a line! <laughs> just and zap, zap, zap death zap beam. Just <laughs> she just melts. <laughs> the space pirates are like, finally, we got her. Uh, so one last probe gets sent up. What do we get data for? The biggest probe. Home oh, cool. Suit expansion locations revealed. Is that this expansion? Did, did we get the suit expansion for this? No, no, no that's the next expansion. <laughs> all right, hang on. I want to I wanna check if there's anything we still need you to get. Get on up on that track. Yeah, I was, it's hard to find how to get there, so. Get on over there. Okay. Uh, oh, they're going to be, be, like, lit up, right? Blue and glowy. Uh, no, that one's not blue and glowy. Well, I mean, like, the, the hole that's, like... Oh, right, I'll be able to, like, get into it and it'll blow it's, up, it's yeah. It's a special morph ball hole. Yeah, it'll it'll be that kind of blue and glowy, okay. Which none of these appear to be, so... Oh, that's just, like, the color of the planets? Or, or oh, these ones are, like, empty, I think. It's been, one week. like, more than a month. You looked at me. You're trying, and that's what counts. I don't remember the fucking lyrics. I have so hung. All I know is the the two days, two weeks, two weeks, something weeks, about sorry. Sailor Moon because the boom anime babes they make me think the wrong thing, which I mean they should because they're 14, or that should be the wrong thing because they're 14. And I think they they're should. 16. Uh, well, I think they start out as 14, right? I think they're freshmen in high school, or, um, not freshmen. They're the, they're the sophomores in high school, because they don't have freshmen in Japan in high school, right? So... Wow, they don't seem very fresh. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, it is kind of creepy. Like 16, okay, right? I hadn't scanned that planet either. Okay, well, everything that we probably need is probably all on Pirate Homeworld now. Well, there's more stuff to scan. Hold on. Hurry up! Planet Brio. Planet Norion. Okay, they are just different colors. So, but there's stuff to scan, even though it doesn't contribute to completion. You know this is all stuff that you've already scanned? Yeah, apparently I have. It will be blue and or red if you haven't scanned it. That's a good point. Okay, fine. Uh, next time on the branch, we will go to... Uh, where are we going to go? We'll go to... Pirate Homeworld? Or are we gonna go back to the frigate? Where do we want to go next time? We gotta, we you gotta decide. figure it out. Figure yeah. it out. Yeah, comment in the comments. So yeah, where, time. where next should time we go branch. next time to on the branch? Yeah, bye. Fifty percent of you will be wrong. <laughs> <laughs>